Welcome to Advanced Trading on Coinbase, sophisticated tools for advanced traders and those who'd like to learn how to take their trades to the next level. Advanced Trading offers more powerful tools, including advanced charts and indicators to help you research crypto assets and make more informed trades. We're going to look at five of the most commonly used ones. Candlestick Charts, Relative Strength Index, or RSI, Simple Moving Average, or SMA, Exponential Moving Average, EMA, and Moving Average Convergence Divergence, MACD. Advanced charts and indicators like these can take you behind the scenes of each trading pair and help you better understand past price movement. Using this information to spot trends and form an opinion on future opportunities is part of a trading strategy called technical analysis. One important note before we get started, past performance can't predict the future. Each chart and indicator can help you view the crypto market from a different angle, but traders often need multiple indicators to get a better understanding of the market. Okay, let's dive into one of the most helpful charts, the candlestick chart. You can think of a candlestick chart like a detailed line graph that shows you how much an asset moved over time. These vertical bars are called candles. Each candle is made up of a body and a wick. The body shows the prices at the beginning and end of a specific time frame. On Coinbase, this could be as long as a day or as short as a minute. If we look at one day, for example, the body will show the price at the start of the day, or the open, and the end of the day, or the close. If the candle is green, it means the price went up, so the opening price is at the bottom of the body and the closing price is at the top. If the candle is red, it means the price went down, so the opening price is at the top of the body and the closing price is at the bottom. The line stretching from the top and the bottom of the body are the wicks. They show you the highest and lowest prices of the day, giving you a full picture of the price range. Candles pack a lot of information into a small space, and experienced traders can use their shapes and patterns to understand price movement over time, gauge market sentiment, and sense where markets are headed next. You could take a full course on all the types of candles and how to read them. But for now, it's good to know that, in general, longer bottom wicks on green candles could indicate that more people started to buy and the price has an upward or bullish momentum. And longer top wicks on red candles could indicate that more people started to sell and the price has downward or bearish momentum. When looking at any chart, it's also important to check the time frame. You can select an interval for the candles in your chart from one minute to one day using the drop-down menu. Or adjust the time frame for the full chart. Zoom out and you can see more candles over time, from minute to minute or over several weeks. Another tool you might want to look at is called the Relative Strength Index, or RSI. The RSI measures the strength of an asset's upward and downward price movement over a period of time. In other words, it can show you how strongly the market wants to buy or sell a specific asset. If the RSI is set to 10 days, then the asset's relative strength, RS, is calculated by dividing the average gains by the average losses over the past 10 days. With this formula, the RSI will always be a number between 0 and 100. If that sounds complicated, don't worry. We do the calculations for you. The main thing to look for is when the RSI jumps above 70 or below 30. An RSI over 70 is often thought to signal that an asset could be overbought. This just means that the price's upward momentum might be slowing. And an RSI under 30 is often thought to signal that an asset might be oversold and its downward momentum might be slowing. It's very important to know that overbought does not necessarily mean it's time to sell, and oversold doesn't necessarily mean it's time to buy. It just means that according to this one index, the momentum up or down might be slowing over a specific period of time. Select RSI from the Indicators menu to add it to your chart view. You might want to combine what you learn from the RSI with moving averages. The simple moving average is commonly referred to as SMA. The SMA visualizes the average price of an asset over a period of time. It can help you better understand an asset's overall price movement. For example, if the SMA is set to 10 days, the first point on the graph will be an average of the last 10 days' prices. As we move forward in time, the SMA drops the last day and adds the most recent day to the average. This is what makes the SMA a simple moving average instead of just a simple average. It's simple because it weighs all 10 days the same. 
that equal weight is what makes the SMA better at showing long-term trends than short-term trends. To look for short-term trends, you want the Exponential Moving Average, or EMA. The EMA shows you the average price of an asset over a period of days, but it puts more weight on the most recent days. This means the EMA will respond quicker to new price movements and fluctuate more than the SMA will. There are a lot of ways to interpret the SMA and EMA, but one thing that traders traditionally look for are moments when the price is higher than the SMA and EMA. This might signal a bullish trend. If the price is below the SMA and EMA, this might signal a bearish trend. Finally, you can look deeper into price trends using the Moving Average Convergence Divergence, or MACD. The MACD is calculated by subtracting the 26-day EMA from the 12-day EMA. But the most important thing to remember is that the MACD line is used in relation to another line called the signal line. The signal line is just the 9-day EMA plotted on top of the MACD line. It serves as your baseline for comparison and reacts slower to price changes. By examining how the MACD line moves in relation to the signal line, you can better understand the direction and strength of price movements. Convergence and divergence are in the name because the most important parts of the MACD are when it moves closer to the signal line, or converges, or when it crosses over the signal line, and when it moves away from the signal line, or diverges. When the MACD line crosses the signal line moving down, it might signal a bearish trend. When the MACD line crosses the signal line moving up, it might signal a bullish trend. The bigger the gap between the two lines, the stronger the signal. And this is where the histogram is most useful. Histograms measure the size of the gap, or the strength of the signal, by showing the distance between the MACD and the signal line. It may seem like a lot for one tool, but the MACD is a great way to understand how prices are moving. Like learning a new language, it all gets easier the more you use it. Soon you'll have multiple charts and indicators up at one time to compare their signals, decide which to follow, and feel more confident about pressing that buy or sell button. To review, no single tool tells a complete story. Advanced trading strategies take multiple charts and indicators into account. Candlestick charts are made up of bodies and wicks. The bodies show you the price open and close, and the wicks show you the price high and low. RSI stands for Relative Strength Index. The RSI measures the strength of an asset's upward and downward price movement. The SMA and EMA stand for Simple and Exponential Moving Averages. The SMA takes the average of the past 10 days, or whatever time frame you set, and the EMA takes the same average but weighs the most recent days more heavily. The MACD, or Moving Average Convergence Divergence, moves in relation to a signal line and can hint at the strength and direction of price movements. Get started at coinbase.com slash advanced trading.